I'm Carlos Anton. I'm from Baguio City, married with two kids. I run the family business uh, of restaurants here in the city, and I love racing, and I also love cars. A few weeks ago, I was at the GR Tuning, having my regular uh, change oil for my other car, and uh, they showed me this pamphlet of uh, Sludgenizer. I'm very skeptical with uh, products like this, but uh, you know, I kind of read through it, they kind of talked me through it, and um, they asked me if I could be willing to try one of my cars. So I said, well, I, I do have one, which is a Nissan Patrol. It's 20 years old. It's around 157,000 kilometers. And I said, my problem is, I always change oil since I bought it, but I bought it secondhand. But I can't seem to get, get it to be clean. After I change oil, only a few hundred kilometers, it's already dark. So I said, mm, maybe we can try. And uh, maybe you can make me a believer. So we just finished the sludgeonizer process on my 20-year-old patrol, changed the oil, and now I'm gonna take it out for a spin in the winding roads of Baguio City. What I noticed right away was uh, my oil pressure is higher. It also sounds a little quieter. Parang pumino. You see me looking at the side view mirror because I'm constantly watching the the smoke, no? The black smoke. And when I overtook that truck, the first one, there was barely any smoke. Ganda. Parang pumino talaga. And we start to accelerate. This is pretty steep but no problem. I wanna try this on one of our race cars. And uh, hopefully, you know, we fight for milliseconds in, in the race cars. And uh, if this can give me the little advantage, uh, I wanna see what it can do. So this would be one of the good things you can do for your engine and for your cars. So definitely recommend it. Okay, so I've been driving around the whole day after we did the sludgeonizer process. And what I usually do, which is standard after I change my oil, when I get home, I let the engine oil sit for a while so it goes to the proper level and then I check it. So I get the dipstick and I check the oil level so I know whether I need to add or not. This is my problem with the sludgeonizer. I can't see where the level is because it's so clean. That's amazing. But actually, if you look really hard, it's right there. Full. It's amazing. I've never seen my dipstick this clean. Ever. Hi, so this is Carlos Anton again and this is my second job which is uh, racing cars. Now today this car has just had the sludgeonizer process done to it. We changed the oil and now I'm gonna give it a few laps in the real racetrack here at the Clark International Speedway and uh, we'll see how good it is for my engine and I'll let you know how it goes. That was my run with the, after the sludgeonizer process done on my car and um, I finished a whole 30 minute session at high RPMs and high revs and uh, the engine runs very smooth and but the thing I think that uh, answers a lot of questions is uh, is this product safe? Which is one of the things that I was worried about before I started and um, only one way to prove it is to put it under the harshest and hardest of conditions at high RPMs is the only way I'm going to believe in this. And after finishing half a tank of fuel, 
you saw the revs, you saw it, you saw me gunning it the whole time. Car runs like new. <laughs>